Hi, and welcome back to First Class University. Thanks for tuning in. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how to write essays and how to make it really, really easy. I think a lot of people, uh, when they come to write essays, don't really know where to start. And some typical advice when sort of starting essays that you might have heard already is to start with an introduction to the essay. Then you carry on with the body of the essay and then after that and finally the conclusion of the essay. Well that's okay in general terms isn't it but it's not very specific and I find that sort of advice not so helpful. I suppose another way of thinking about the introduction body and conclusion of the essay is the introduction needs to be the attention grabber. It needs to get the attention of the person who's reading your essay. Pull them in. It's like the hook. And then, you know, you start with that and you start from the general position that you're taking down to the specific details as you work through uh, the essay into the body. So then the body comes along and in the body you provide the sort of evidence of the things the points you want to get across. You make sure that it's in a logical uh, order. And then the conclusion really needs to include the main takeaways of what you've written about already. Well, even that, okay, that's a little bit more specific and a little bit more helpful. But, you know, I think we can do better than that. To begin with, when you're planning your essay and, and writing it out, Start with a bang. Start with uh, a main statement, your thesis statement, your main proposition, the main thing that you're trying to get across. What is it that you're trying to answer in this essay? What sort of points are you trying to get across here? That'll hook your reader in to the essay and want them uh, hungry for more to find out, OK, then tell me, uh, what what are your thoughts about this? What 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 am I going to find out in this essay? It needs to be uh, an attention getter at the beginning and it needs to be a kind of headline statement. What is your stance at the outlet, at the, out, um, at the beginning of, of this work? Other people might call it the main proposition that you're taking, the main uh, point of view that you're starting from. And then, after that, think about what is the problem? What, what are you trying to convince the reader of? So, be clear. State what the problem is. Define it. If you're writing an academic essay, it's really important to provide evidence that you understand the issues that you're writing about. So by defining what the problem is, defining complex terms or jargon or technical uh, phrases that you might have heard in your lectures or tutorials, then you're really providing the reader evidence that you understand what you're writing about. And that reader let's face it, is usually an academic who's going to uh, mark and grade your work. So that's really important. Describe what the problem is. You know, the reader might not be uh, fully aware or understand um, the issues that you want to discuss in your essay. So you need to describe them. And then think about the motive for your work. What is the reason for writing this essay. You know, you need to clearly uh, describe and explain the reasons behind your essay. It might be for an assignment, it might be for a cause that you're passionate about, it might be something you're interested in, it might be something that your professors have given you as a task to write about. So you need to explain why you're doing this. What what is the bigger issue here? Are you trying to create a social movement? Are you trying to create a change in people's behaviours after reading your work? And then, importantly, especially for academic essays, is to provide evidence. You know, we don't just want to see 
um, a collection of your thoughts and rants and ideas uh, about the topic that just pop up in your head. What we need in an academic uh, essay is to see that you've been critical of the sources of information that you've used to create the points uh, that you want to discuss in your essay. So to do that you need to provide evidence. So you need to provide evidence that you have read about the subject that you're writing about. And one way of doing that is to reference the source materials that you use in your reading. And when I say reading, I guess I really mean reading academic texts, other people's essays, uh, journal articles, technical reports, um, other sources of literature. You might have heard a radio program or um, uh, read a blog post, seen a YouTube movie, uh, watched a TV program. All these things uh, have informed you. Um, so they have informed you in terms of your position on this subject that you're writing about. So these sources of information need to be referenced in your essay and pulled together to show that you have thoroughly considered all points about the subject that you're writing about. The points you agree with but also the points that you disagree with and you've taken those conflicting viewpoints and um, it's called synergized them so put them uh, through your brain and, and thought about you know what are the pros and what are the cons on, on each side of the argument here and then you have formed your own opinion as a result so a good essay you as the author of that essay will have an opinion about the subject and you have an opinion for a variety of reasons because you've read or heard people talking about the subject that you're now writing about so you go back to explain, describe how did you form your opinion and who do you trust to help you form that opinion. So I would say um, a key academic who's leading in the subject area that you're writing about is um, an authentic and reliable source for you to help form an opinion of your own. If you're reading blogs and perhaps wikis or other unverified, unpeer-reviewed sources of information on the internet, then you have to think, you have to stop and think for a minute. Do you trust these people? Are they um, being authentic? Are they being reliable? Can you rely on what they are saying or writing? So perhaps it's a teacher, perhaps it's a guru in that area, perhaps it's an expert uh, in your subject area and you know you think they're really trustworthy, their opinions are useful, uh, they're key decision makers in this subject area. And remember of course to reference all the work of other people that you are uh, relying on to form your opinion and create the essay that you're writing about. Then the next stage is to analyse and reflect. So firstly, the analysis. This is where you pull things apart to better understand something. You know, you can look at the nitty gritty detail to understand the bigger picture. So think about all the um, smaller sort of points of argument, points of analysis that you need to somehow weave together and as a whole, they help you, and importantly the reader, better understand the points that you are trying to make in your essay. Then towards uh, the end of this part, look back, think back um, about what you have written um, and try and learn from it. You know, all these things that you've been reading and listening to by other people on this subject area, the lectures you've been to, the tutorials, the articles that you've read, the YouTube videos that you've watched, the radio and TV shows, programs that uh, you've listened to, the technical reports or the literature that you've read. You know, 
What have you learnt from it? You know, just think. Take time to think back. Look back over what you've planned out in your essay and written about so far. What are the bigger topics? What are the trends? What are the patterns? What are the big issues now that you can discuss and uh, reflect on and think about um, from all of that work? Well, hopefully that's helped. That's how you put together uh, an essay. Um, it's quite easy once you have practiced doing it. Uh, I think it's a good idea to plan out the essay before you actually tackle writing it and get those elements uh, like I have put in this uh, slide. Analyse and reflect would be the last part. But go back through uh, this video and try and plan out your essay before actually sitting down to write it. And then when you have that plan, it'll be much, much easier for you to add in the details. So thanks very much for watching and uh, if you've liked this please subscribe to my channel or like this video and uh, I wish you good luck uh, in the rest of your studies. Bye now.